up everybody it's your boy Chaz Customs Custom Model Cars big shout out to everybody much props um, thank you all for your comments and messages um, just gonna do a little model kit review on the uh, AMT Phantom um, Ford Econoline custom van it's a two-in-one you can build stock or custom I think it's a pretty awesome kit um, a lot of great parts in here this is a uh, re-release from round two models I believe it is um, this kit was given to me so I'm not for sure on the exact price. You can check it on their website at www.com. I mean www.round2models.com. I think it is. So um, yeah, it's a pretty awesome kit. I mean, they give you all kinds of little options for the windows and you know a little description of what's going on. The bottom of the box gives you like the part list and this little thing here and a little bit more of the descriptions. So the box art. The same on both sides of the box, but here you got the stock version. So you can build it any way you want to, and of course every kit, you know, you have your um, your cre own creative juices to add to it. So um, I don't know what else to say about this kit, um, but um, let's go ahead and um, open this box and show you guys what's the, what's in the, in the contents. Okay, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and start off with the um, the body and the uh, floorboard and the hood. Because these are the biggest ones here. The hood, by the way, is really, really nicely detailed on the top part. Here it is right here. And you got the Ford emblem there. And then you turn it around. It's got some nice detail along with some pin marks that you need to clean up. And this one you need to be very careful of because it's right next to all the details. So that's kind of a downside to that, but it's all good. Other than that, like I said, it's a pretty good hood. Um, the body's really nicely molded as well. It's got the uh, Econoline badges on each side of the van, along with the um, the marker lights in the recessed area. And then you got chateau, chateau badging as well. So there's a chateau badging. Uh, the other downside is the uh, the downside to this model one of the downsides, one of the many downsides, is the molded in door handles. Um, it's got some nice hinge details, but could do without the uh, molded in door handles. There's your uh, fuel filler cap. The body is totally amazing in detail. It's not a lot of flashing uh, visible. Um, are you serious, dude? Like, did you come here to help or did you come here to interrupt or what? Dude, you're supposed to be working. You're supposed to be a uh, Finishing up the box. I'm supposed to be packing up the box after I'm done. Uh, I'm not ready yet. Uh, you're not doing your job correctly there, bud. All right. You're walking right past me. Freaky cat. All right. That's my little buddy. Um, the other downside is all these pin marks and that stamping. So a lot of cleanup to do. The other thing too, the other downside is the the flash that's on the uh, edge of the window. So you have to carefully remove that. These are fine. The front window is fine. The rear windows you have to clean the edges, and this side you have to clean the edge around here. But it's got nice ribbing detail on the top, and it's got an open hood, and it's got molded in uh, windshield wipers. So, and then a nice. Well, I said the hinge detail, but the. Uh, where the license plate goes to as well. So overall really nice nice body. So and then of course you have your floorboard which has got some nice detailing but a lot of pin marks that you have to clean up and, and whatever and flash and whatever you have to grind. It's got the molded in door panels, pedals and the uh, engine cover. Um, but you got your recessed door areas right here and then beyond the doors and you got your your fuel thing here. Um, it's got some textured uh, uh, carpeting in there so nice ribbing whoops and I poked my cat with it <laughs> um, but yeah I could do without the uh, molded indoor panels but I guess it just makes it easier and same with the pedals that look very clunky so but overall it's pretty cool for what it is okay before I get go through all the parts in the parts box which we're gonna end up starting off with the chrome tree here um, just to give you guys a little heads up and a little warning none of these parts trees have numbers on them to locate which part is which so you kinda have to ahead of time before you start assembling and painting you have to go through your instructions and go through all the parts and know which is which 
because uh, this is that's the biggest downside of this model kit. Now we need the numbers to know where all the parts are going because some of us are not mechanically inclined and some of us, you know, this model is kind of a new thing, you know. So I've never had a van kit before and I got confused what the parts were. I thought these were radiator hoses when these turned out to be connector pieces. So just wanted to give you guys a little heads up. So we're going to start off with the chrome tree. Um, you get uh, two different set of bumpers with the molded in headlights, which I kind of don't like, but what can you do? But um, this custom bumper is really, really cool. Nice little 70s look to it. And then you got your stock, stock hubcaps, and the front and rear bumper, which is for both custom and stock. And you have these, these side mirrors, which you can do without. You can make your own or kit batch for something else because these look really toyish and blocky. They're really poorly molded. But on the front side is pretty cool. Then, of course, you have your side exhaust, uh, your headers, uh, the header pieces that uh, connect from this to the headers. And you have your other connector pieces here. And then you have your alternator right here. So, And you can use this video as a reference, too, if you guys like, of all the parts and everything else. So now we're going to get into bag number one for all the uh, white parts. And uh, this one, you have your all your engine pieces here. Okay, you have your engine block, the heads, manifold, oil pan, the headers, the water pump, fan belt, the battery, and the valve covers, the distributor, oil filter, um, the uh, pulley system. This is the carburetor, the stock air cleaner, of course, your engine blocks. And you have your custom um, fender flares trailer hitch and this one goes to the top of the back here so you can cut it out if you want to or just glue it on there for the custom window these are your your uh, blocks for your axle it's another custom option you can jack your rear end up if you want to and then of course you got your custom front air dam here so that's really cool that they've included that so it's a little minimal flash to clean up but a lot of a lot of uh, pin marks you have to clean in order for things to fit and look right so that's the other big downside is a lot of pin marks on these parts it just it really sucks okay moving along we have our frame here with the cross member here you get four more cross members here and then you get the stock exhaust uh, the master cylinder and then you get the four custom rally wheels including the uh, custom steering wheel which is a three spoke so there you have it The uh, the master cylinder could use a little more detail, but um, looks pretty cool. The frame, um, I'd say, you know, a little minimal clean up here and there. Other than that, it's pretty nicely detailed, nicely molded. So that's that. And here, I have to put the camera down, sorry, because I don't want to lose any parts here. One thing you will find in this box that some of the parts do come loose, which are the um, hubs here. These go into the back of uh, your tires, of course. And then in this sprue, you have some of your interior parts and some, some more of your engine and suspension parts. You have your captain chairs and the backing to them. These belong to the, uh, go to the uh, stock wheels, I believe. And these are like the uh, the retainers or something like that. And these are the um, license plates. Um, and then on for your captain chair, these glue on the bottom. And they have pins which glue onto the bottom of these things which glue onto the floorboard. So they're like spinning captain chairs if you, if you would want to call it. But again, a lot of cleanup. With the pin marks to make things fit good. So, And then these are the armrests for the captain chairs. This is the air vent. This is the fuel tank, which, you know, you can scratch build a better one than that. And then you get your two other cross members, and then the master cylinder fits right in here. This is the air hose for the stock air cleaner and the washer bottle here. So, again, you can use my video as a reference to where all the, well, all the parts are. And this is the uh, stock steering wheel right here. Okay. So, pretty cool, but, um, again, a lot of cleanup. And you could just kit bash whatever you want to do. You know, it's, it's your preference, your choice. And here's the uh, the remainder of the parts here, um, which there's a lot here too. So 
Okay, I'm going to go and run down the parts here for you guys. You have your steering column, your upper radiator hose. This is your tie rod, your two leaf springs, and the um, I believe those blocks. Uh, which part tree was it? So these little blocks, these um, blocks here, go to the back end of these here. So this is the top and bottom of your rear axle. This is your firewall. These are your radius rods for the front end, the, the disc brakes. This is your oil filler tube, which goes on the top of your valve cover. This is your um, steering gearbox, and these are your shocks. These are the front ones. These are the rear ones. And these are your I-beam axles here with the shock springs molded in. This is your heater blower here that goes to the um, firewall here. Your drive shaft, which is pretty wrong because the heads on it look weird, so very short. This is your radiator cap that goes to this thing, so do not lose that. It goes to the top of this. But this is your big monster radiator you get with this van. Here's the back side. Again, got to clean up those pin marks. Here's the dash, which is very nicely detailed. Okay, I don't know if you can see that on camera, and I do apologize. My camera's bad. Um, there you get the top part of the dash as well. So... Um, a lot of things you could do with this. I mean, there, you could do a lot of detailing with that and whatnot. So, but um, again, the um, the top and part of the um, the axles look like that. So, but again, you can kit bash and do whatever you want to do, and you know, add your own little flair to it. So, you don't necessarily need to use these parts. Moving along. We have the um, clear parts, which is here the windows. You have your side windows. You have the window for the back. And then you have the large um, front windshield, which there's no scratches. These, these are molded really well, and they're inside of a plastic bag, which is a plus. So these came out really nice. And then this one here is really cool because they all come in their little separate bags. You have your tail lights, which is very crisply molded in red. And then you have your custom um, windows for, this, for the side of your van and for the top. And they come in tinted or clear. So your choice. Okay, last but not least, here's the remaining parts, which is eight set of tires. Four for the uh, stock and four for the custom. Um, the stock ones are molded in solid vinyl. Very nicely detailed. Not a lot of flash. Maybe on the inside. Uh but very very nice very nice treads and very nice lettering on the back and the front which I wish Revell would um, you know take note and keep the lettering on their tires which makes the tires look a little more realistic but since they've removed them you know afraid of copyright issues you know it's just like tires look toyish they look like toys so and for the, uh, the custom tires they are hollow vinyl they're really, really nice tires, got nice treads, nice lettering, nice bulging on the sides. Only problem is you have these sink marks right here, which are a pain to clean. It's got some um, raised tread on the sides, which I believe is like flash. Okay. The front ones are skinnier than the back ones. And the back ones are really horrible. Look, I found this in the kit. It's like somebody had torched it or melted the stick corner there. So I will not be using these at all. It's a little disappointment, a little let down because these are really nice tires. Um, this one's even, this is the worst shape of all. This one's so badly warped. It's, it's, it looks like a U on the top of it. You can't see it well on camera, but in person you can see it and feel it. But it's raised up on this, on these edges here. So, but anyway, so yeah. So there's your tires. And of course, another thing that Revell should take note is start putting your decals in plastic, in a plastic bag, like so. Keeps them fresh, and no matter how long you keep your kit, they'll always be fresh. So um, here's the decals. Those are pretty cool. You got the Phantom, license plates, some more Phantom stickers there. But the murals are really, really cool. Really Halloweenish like and then of course you get your little wax paper on top and then they give you your little you know little catalog and then uh, 
the mail thing and then they give you the instructions of course so that's it for the uh, model review guys hope you guys enjoyed uh, let me know what you guys think uh, in the comments down below um, and I'll have another one so anyways you guys keep on building and keep up the great work it's your boy Chaz Customs Custom Model Cars I'm signing out peace